three live. Farts, old farts, two old farts. Steve and Dave. Sometimes you find a diamond in the rough. Not this time, though. This is just rough. Two old farts. There is no better waste of time. Two guys, two old guys. A lot of BS and more drivel than you can shake a stick at. Steve and Dave. God help us. Ah, uh, there's that God guy again. You keep bringing it. Yeah, all the time. Well, yeah. Let's scare. Let's scare. So. Let's scare our fans before we bring in the guest. Da-dum. Da-da. <laughs> there yeah. you go. So, yeah. Well, I keep telling you, Stephen, it's a typo. It's actually a uh, dog helper. So I think you got it wrong. So you, I forget that you're uh, what you call yeah. dyslexic, so you type things backwards. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, you because t- I, I remember re- reading that famous book. You know, was dog a donut? You remember that one? No, I read uh, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, and I gave it to my dog. So Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Yes. We have a so lady have a back on the show. Guest. Well, yeah, not back. We do, it's, her first, it's her first time on the show because last time we couldn't get a good internet. And apparently yeah. she was telling us before the show that Nunzio and Rocco paid her internet provider a visit. And apparently they fixed the internet and fed the gerbil. And now she has full internet, so we're very excited about that. Yeah, so we yeah, see and, and we've got some fantastic art because we didn't have yes, a chance to, do, to look at it last time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lilette uh, Nashani, I was probably going to I've said that wrong, like I not like I did last time when she was on the show, so I apologize yes. for that. But um, let, let's bring her on because she's a fascinating lady, and she's from a country from whom we have never had any guests before. That is very so. true. So, so over to you, my, la- my dear lady. Perhaps you tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello. Nice to meet you. And thank you for giving this opportunity. Finally, I'm here with you in the show. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for Finally, being here. In a good way. We're all excited. So tell us how you got started um, with your Oriental Neo symbolism. How did that start? And then tell us about you as well so everybody gets an idea. Yeah. First of all, uh, the uh, Oriental male symbolism was born um, probably all of a sudden for me, but should be developing and should be boiling for a while before I recognized it. And I was not even recognized it before it actually got to the point. Patrick Canum, a uh, European French, uh, French art historian and art expert, a uh, fascinating uh, art expert and author of books, uh, just sent me an email saying that, really, I find your art really, really very unique and this should be a new art movement. And I've, I've decided the name for it and it's going to be Oriental Nail yeah. Symbolism. So that was kind of a news for me. <laughs> very and cool. Then I, yeah, it was very exciting. And then I asked him, hey, Patrick, are you sure I'm like, what made you think like that? He said, Lily, if you're an artist, do your job and let me do mine. So this is how it all, all started. And thank God um, that developed more and more. And now, I'm, I mean, the world knows me as the founder of Oriental Now Assembly. Very cool. Well, we're glad wow. that the world knows you with that, and we're very excited yeah. that you took the time to do a, a show with us today, as well as show your art today. So we're very excited yeah. to be able to show your art to the to the world. And since David and I only know, we're not like we have a gentleman named Paul Constable does Canadian art today, who is an art connoisseur, and he can talk about brush strokes and paints and uh, for hours. And David and I can look at a painting and go, "Ooh, it's pretty." So we're going to bring on, "Ooh, it's pretty." Um, because no one wants to hear what we think about art. They want to hear from you, the artist, and they want to look at your artwork. So um, tell us about the, the paintings that we are seeing and as we get them up. Um, and yeah, just, I, I just, you know, would, just want they're to all beautiful. jump in very, very quickly, uh, Stephen. Uh, because because, because the, the connection is made only by Stephen. Yeah. And you can see here it, it's full of uh, the symbols. The symbols are uh, Armenian her- cultural heritage 
and I got very, very much excited about the Armenian heritage and all that symbols, all that hidden things we have there, because I believe that right. our ancestors actually talked to us through that symbol, and that's really very mysterious. I, right. um, David, you were gonna, and, you were gonna wait one second. David, you were gonna say something. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I was actually going to to ask her, uh, uh, I guess, where she came from, but she's already told us now from Armenia. So yeah, so that's as I say, that's an absolute, you know, uh, a world first for us. So yes. and and we, and we, I've never seen any anything uh, with this sort of color palette put together before. So yeah, I can see why Patrick wanted to to um, you know give it so you know, give it a title that uh, that it truly deserves. That's true. It's beautiful. I am. Uh, in, in ancient times, people believed that gold is the, the, the material to connect to God. So right. that's why you can see so much gold in her left side. So this, this means that this is the connection actually to the, to the God. Very nice. And so I'm assuming all your work that you're going to show us is for sale. So if somebody wants to buy one of your pieces, what's the price range between what and what will your pieces sell for? Well, it depends, of course, of, of uh, the history of the artwork. It depends of, of what the art uh, the artwork uh, what the artwork is got to because the exhibitions, the museum, the publications of this or that artwork actually plus up to the price. So uh, this particular artwork is already not available. Ah, oh, I see this one. I love. I I can't wait to yeah. see the rest now. See, David doesn't show me Take this it. in the beginning, and so he knows that we have artists on the show. And after the show, I'm like, I need this piece, this piece, and this piece. So we buy art. Yeah. So it's like, so as I see things I like, so the it's just like you, these little teas. Yeah. Can you can you give us an, an uh, sort of a ballpark indication of what what this was sold for? That was uh, 3,000 uh, 3, euros, which I believe should be about uh, three and a half dollars. Three and a half US, yeah. Three and a half dollars. Okay, well, yeah, I, I, that's not a spot. That's not unreasonable. No, that's a beautiful so, uh, piece. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's 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 move on because I've got ten pieces to see today. So. Oh yeah, this artwork is has a fantastic. <laughs> fantastic story behind. So this artwork, let me start from the end. So this artwork actually uh, was uh, presented in the Art and Faith Festival uh, in Italy, Viterbo, uh, and the festival actually was uh, attached to the Corpus Domini uh, religious holiday. Um, this is something very much celebrated in Italy and I believe in some other Catholic countries too. So it was Giulio uh, uh, um, de la Roca, the president of Sucio in Flore, contacted me and asked me to create a piece, a religious piece, uh, to be presented uh, as part of the procession, religious procession in the day of Corpus Domini. So yeah, that was a real challenge for me because previously I never touched the religious uh, topic at all. So I should, uh, the, the case was that I, I should create something in a religious mood, but still preserve myself and still preserve my uh, attitude, my style, the oriental neo symbolism, still incorporate symbols into it. It was a real challenge. Plus, uh, the, the questions I had, that all that religious questions I had was actually took me to a full journey to, um, I, I even visited uh, the San Lazaro Island in Italy, in Venice, uh, which is uh, Armenian church in Italy. So I met the head of the church, I asked all the questions I had to make sure that I'm, I'm absolutely on the way uh, to, to be very accurate with the, uh, with the symbols and to still, to, still to give the, uh, message I, I have to, I have to deliver. So, yeah, and the artwork was born. It took me about four months. 
Um, and I traveled to Italy to be part of the procession and to see my artwork walking, uh, following the procession with two fantastic young uh, soldiers holding it from two sides. That was that was really very 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 exciting and yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, um, what sort of size is this then? Uh, is this particular painting? This painting actually, I, I would I would say, uh, pricing this particular part of a piece because it has so much attached to it. So I believe that if someone actually wants to purchase this piece, we should turn to an art expert to evaluate this. With this piece. I, yeah. I'm an art expert, so two dollars to me. I like it. All right, done. Let's go. Next piece. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? What? I'm just. What? What? What are the? What, no, what are the dimensions of this, of this particular piece? The dimensions uh, of the pattern? Is it a big canvas or? Uh, this, this canvas is uh, 70 over 70 centimeters. 70, I mean, 70 centimeters or 70 meters, okay. In inches? Well, so it's a little, it's about 30 by, it's a like, it's about 27, 30 inches by 27, 30 inches in that ballpark. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. beautiful. Okay. Yeah, actually, we'll go to... right here. here is it. Oh, there you go. Hold on. We'll just do this. And there you have it. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. See, and what we've learned over the, especially when we see art now and when we get it. So some of the pieces that we've bought from the artists that have been on the show, it looks very nice and beautiful on the interview. And then when it gets to the house, we're like, wow, like the colors pop or the details pop even more. So um, if you like what you see on the show, then when it gets to your house, it'll be much better, as they say. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't quite have the right symbolism for you, Stephen, but I'm sure there is a big market for this. Piece. Yeah, if there's a Star of David in there, I'd be good. Um, but yeah. that's okay. Every You know, listen, everybody's got their thing. Each, um, each and to also their, each for, to their own. Each for their own. For everybody that... Um, me or is interested we'll we will have her details below in the description um and the youtube description um her her page um and you can see all her art and touch base with her and if you want to buy something and if you can't figure out how to do that get a hold of us and we will put you in touch with her so there you go this is beautiful yeah oh yeah this this is, that's real that's awesome. real movement uh, this piece was part of the uh, of my exhibition, solo exhibition in Italy, okay. uh, and the exhibition was called Victory. So uh, whenever we have something in, within, um, some intuition or some inner voice, it never comes with a statement. It always comes with questions. So all the pieces of that solo exhibition had Untitled with questions, not with statements. So this particular piece is called Am I Loyal to Myself? And you can see the lady asking herself in very intimate and with uh with a with a bird symbolizing her inner voice, asking herself, Am I loyal to myself? Am I still in the direction? So uh, and all the uh, all the little pieces you can see. All of them stand for the symbols, all inspired by Armenian uh, heritage, Armenian cultural heritage. Uh, you're more than welcome to visit Armenia, and you will see these pieces all around the churches, all around the temples, in our national dresses, and uh, almost in, in, on the jewelry, and everywhere, almost everywhere. So this is what we got from the from our ancestors, from our fathers. And I, I love using uh, communicating to the audience, communicating to people using the symbolism of um, of that cultural heritage I have. Right. And this piece is twenty centimeters by twenty centimeters. Just if anybody. Yes, interested. it's a small one. It's yes. a small one. This, Look how uh, I knew that. Look how I knew that. I'm just so like this, like this. <laughs> <laughs> This one is called, Do I Realize My True Soul? This one's beautiful. Uh, 
Yeah. Again, you can see the bird. And, yep. uh, and this one also uh, is 20, 20 by 20 centimeters. Yeah. Anybody's but interested? They are, they are uh, in a series. The, the previous one and this one, they're in the yep. series. Um, well, regularly people prefer to take the full, full series, not right. this one. No, that one's very, that one's pretty. So that, now is this one still for sale? Yes, both of them. Okay, so if somebody wants to buy this one, how much is this one? This one is 600 euros. Oh, okay. in dollars, it is like 800 bucks. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. there you go. Again, not unreasonable. No, very beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is something, uh, another small piece from the research, research collection. Uh, are my actions driven by love or fear? This is how I call I title this this piece. Uh, it had three pieces, and one of one of them is already not available. So the two remain, the two red ones that remain. Um, you can see that uh, the, 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 there's a jar to hold. So mm -hmm. uh, it was a um, uh, first of all uh, the pottery was developed in Armenian highlands since uh, thousands thousands of years before the Christ. And uh, the historical museums of Armenia are full of the uh, all, all that uh, historical pieces. And the, uh, people used to keep different things, different things in their jars. Particularly, um, whenever they had to preserve the treasures, they all they always used the jars to put the treasures on and dig it into the in, into the soil. So that's why I put that symbolism, brought this symbolism here because um, the jewelry and all the treasures we have are always should always have the action. If they don't have the action, they are they are always buried into the soil. So this is this is why she holds it. Very cool. Very pretty. Very pretty. And this is also twenty by twenty centimeters. If anybody wants yeah, to know, yeah, the price is the same. Look how I know this stuff. I just like I can look at it and just tell you. Actually, I'm cheating. Yeah, everybody. I'm looking at her website. I'm on the catalog, so that's how <laughs> I can tell you the, the sizes of everything. Yeah, I'm not that smart. So this one is this also is... unfortunately not available. Okay. And this is called this artwork is called uh, what What am I doing to the people today? Right. What am I bringing to to people today? So again, she holds that jar with the treasures she brings. It's, all, uh, it's again about the actions, and the green is that uh, the, uh, symbolizes the stability and that table uh, flourishing, table flourishing, not picking, not stressful picking, but that table flourishing of spring, that the, the, the spirit of spring. Everything spring spring is spring brings to, to people all all that beauty all that spirit all that warmth. Right. So this is this is what the artwork is about, and it's again not not available unfortunately, or fortunately right. because it, I didn't say that, unfortunately that, for you, unfortunately for the fans. Uh, yeah, of course, because the person who holds this right now is an amazing person. <laughs> so there you go. Very, this is very beautiful. Yeah, it's, All it's, your stuff uh, is very beautiful. I'm, I'm just quite intrigued about the green palette. It is it is very, very green and the sort of green that you don't very often see, you know, as a predominant color. You know, I've been okay people doing landscapes, that sort of stuff, but to have that sort of, yeah, very lush. I was always, it looks almost like sort of an Irish green. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I must admit, I'm not a great lover of green, but I've, I've, this has really sort of taken me. But uh, so, I was, yeah, so it's, what it's supposed to do, isn't it? It's supposed art, uh, supposed to affect you, in uh, you know, uh, move your emotions, and uh, so. it's yeah, beautiful. It no, I, I, and I like it because it pops, if you will, the green piece. Yeah. All your pieces, like this blue one too, hits you right in the face. Yeah, this this, this, this blue is just a, such an amazing color. This so one that's, that's, is called MI uh, Work Replication. Right. A pregnant woman 
digging into herself and asking herself, is she good enough to, 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 give, a, to give a birth? Um, it's interesting that nowadays, giving the birth and being a mother, becoming a mother, is not considered a miracle as it used to be in the ancient times. Right. And it's really sad because as mom of two, I know what it takes. And yeah, and that, 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 that's sort of a miracle because although, you, although the, the woman actually holds the pregnancy and feels the child growing inside, it still when you see the child, it's something, it, 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 you, can, you cannot name it any other way. So it, it, it right. is a miracle. It can, you cannot yeah. name it. But still, no, we women, really, you know, women doesn't realize the power they have, doesn't realize the, the wonders they, they are able to produce. So all women actually question themselves, always, uh, questioning their value, questioning their worth. So with this piece, actually, I want to, believe, to deliver the idea that it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. Women actually doesn't need empowerment because women are powerful from right from the beginning. Yep. The power of women shouldn't come from someone else or so, from some external factors. That's something we're born with. Well, that's true. And it's only the last couple hundred years where women have lost their power. Because if you go back to ancient times, women were, whether they were empresses, queens, kings, whatever it might be, um, or emperors in China, especially, um, they ran dynasties and ran armies and took over and did. And if you go back, so it's only in the last couple hundred years, for some reason, you guys kind of lost your, we can control the world. And I'm not really sure why. So this piece is a very powerful piece. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. The thing that struck me most, and I'm sitting here, and it may just be because I'm looking at it on my computer, but it has a strange depth to it. For some strange reason or another, I felt that I that I was looking past. She was, she was almost like a, a like a part of a, a statue or a building. I was looking onto some sort of desert behind it. There's a strange depth to it. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. what. Yeah. But, yeah, and. You know her her uh, pose, the pose she has. It's not it's not something natural. This is very no. natural. So no one actually no. can stand this way or sit this way or lay this way. So and uh, and that that's what I wanted to put uh, the idea of um, the question being irrelevant. That question is actually irrelevant. But all yeah. women have. And all That's these patterns and, and, and stuff, all these patterns on, on all the text, uh, textiles, that's, that's uh, uh, based on your own per, uh, um, history, the Armenian history, all these wonderful scroll yep. works and, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I can, awesome. I can see now why Patrick was what wanted to use the terminology, uh, you know, New Orient. Um, um, Patrick Kanoom, he's author of two books, one about uh, uh, Egyptian, uh, ancient Egyptian ritual, and another yeah. one historical art. So this person actually knows uh, the history of ancient cultures very well. And Armenia yeah. is actually one of the most ancient cultures in the world. Yeah. Uh, and dating back to, I mean, even recently they found some uh, uh, some pieces dating to. Uh, 12,000 years before the Christ. So that's, that's, that's really amazing. It's very ancient. And the kingdoms, uh, the, uh, the, uh, we, uh, the Ratu kingdom, the uh, civilization coming before the uh, fourth century. And, and fourth century, we adopted Christianity. So there's so many layers of history, so many symbols, so many differences in uh, the phases of the history. And what's interesting, uh, the, it, it's uh, scientifically proven that the gene of Armenian women didn't change for 8,000 years. Huh? So we are huh. exactly the same as we were 8,000 years ago, people living here, Armenians. And Patrick cool. knows this very well. 
And I was amazed, to tell the truth, I was really amazed with the depth of his expertise because uh, the way he feels my art, the, the way he realized and uh, saw the death and the future of this was actually the best, uh, the best, best proof of how great expert in art is. Uh, and this actually led to another great collaboration with Patrick. It's the, he started a magazine, A Look at Art, uh, and invited me to uh, be a co-author. So I write about Armenian history, about Armenian uh, symbols, about uh, the culture, um, and the, uh, the next the issue was just right uh, issues right now, and it's available on Amazon. Everyone is uh, more than welcome to take it because it's worth uh, the time, it's worth the having and reading. Uh, the next piece, which will come, uh, come out in, the, uh, in, in December, will, will have a, a, a great article, uh, which I'm actually now preparing with the director of Histor Historical Ethnic Museum in Armenia. Uh, and the, the content, the articles of the magazine are that piece. That's not something Google, that's not something developed with uh, the unknown uh, sources. This is how we actually, all the uh, contributors, this is how all the contributors actually work for the, uh, for, for the magazine. We travel, we meet people, we dig deep, we try to develop a content, a content uh, it's, uh, that is not actually regularly available uh, around the internet. And this is what gives enormous value to the magazine. Very cool. Uh, we yeah. actually tr yeah. we met you through Patrick because we asked Patrick. Yeah, to come indeed. On, we and, and, he couldn't, and he couldn't come on because of the magazine and travel. And he said, I have an artist yeah. that you need to meet. And we're like, great. And that's how we ended up all getting on the, the show today. Yeah. Exactly. And what he, he approached me saying, Lily, I, I had an interview. I can't make it because I need to travel. He found some very interesting piece, and he right. had to travel to see it by, uh, in person. So he said, okay, Lily, you need to go. You need to present your art. You need to talk about the magazine. People need to know. And I said, okay, Patrick, I will take it. <laughs> there you go. And here you yeah. are today. And it worked out well. Yeah. And we're glad, we're glad to have you on the show. So, I, so. yeah, I sort of pre... You, yeah, I zipped onto this next piece pretty quickly. So, um, but um, could you this tell us a little bit about this? What, this piece is called "What What Life Asks of Me." Uh, we, I believe that we all come to the world with a certain mission, and at some point, uh, everyone asks themselves, "What they actually What, what Life Asks of Me." What I want, what I need, what I'm here to do, what I, what I need to do, and this this piece is about that. Um, this is how when you start the right, when you ask the right questions, the right patterns start to reveal uh, the symbols before uh, in front of her, uh, in the direction she looks, actually start, shows the re is the reveal of the truth in the atmosphere. I agree with that. Yeah, it's like using AI. You got to ask the right question to get the right answer. So that's that's pretty much <laughs> life. So, no, yeah. stuff is absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm oh, back to my favorite one of, one of my favorite color palette. I, I love the red one. I like lots of red anyway. But I love, there's something about this very very seductive, um, almost royal blue that you use all the time. So. I love and this. This is, is, this, a, is yeah. this is this is twenty by thirty centimeters. Is this one for sale? Yes, it is. It is again okay. from the Whisper. Um, yeah. It is, it, and it's called. Uh, Can I look straight into my future's eyes? Um, it's kind of a trying to connect not to the past but to the future. Right. Uh, because you know we need to take the responsibility. Yep. And the matureness comes with the ability of taking responsibility. 
ability to look into your future self eyes is actually taking the responsibility for all the actions you do for the future. And, uh, and you can see all that cycles around. Uh, the cycles uh, uh, is, uh, that's called um, a wheel of eternity, the sun cross, mm -hmm. and it's very much um, Arme very Armenian symbol. So in all the cultural, uh, visual cultural heritage, you can meet this symbol. And you have, we have it clockwise and counterclockwise. So clockwise it means life, death, life. So the victory of life over the death. And the counterclockwise is the opposite. So the death, life, death. So the circle of eternity. And, very, uh, very nice. Yeah, and that the circle actually makes this um, make, makes this piece, and you can see you have it, she had it on her hair, uh, and she had it uh, in several pieces again. This is actually the ability to to look straight into your future's eyes. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. And he said that this this the paint's really quite thick, isn't it? As well, which like you really go for it. Some yeah. oil, I take it, and then just just really start to build up all the all the different layers, and then put the, those really sort of wow colors on top. Because then you, you, it actually looks. I mean, I sound looking at this on a computer screen today. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm in a different place when I normally sit when we do these. But it's it, the, the lamp is almost lit. You know, it's sort of jumping out. So uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Deeply Absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous. So if anybody's out there watching that wants their stuff, you need to get on it soon because pretty soon she'll be even more famous because of this and her prices will go yeah. up. And there you go. Yeah. So. And take it on, get, get, uh, it, get your checkboard out. <laughs> Sorry? Yes. This is how it goes. Uh, yep. as, the art, as the career of the artist develops, uh, the pieces start selling more and more. And, yep. uh, yeah. <laughs> so and I the cool thing is we can say, and the cool thing is we can say we had an exclusive world, exclusive interview with you before you became a household name. So see, it works out well for everybody. So. Yeah. Okay. I, I <laughs> made the future angels of the future hear what you think. <laughs> I know, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. We're, 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 we're up. We, we like angels, but we'll yes. have a few of those. There you go. But this is, this is again a, a, a large piece of how, no, how, 20 how, by 30. 20 by 30. 20 by 30. 30. Oh, 20. Yeah. This is a small one. Okay. All and and again, are... about about what, $6,000? That sort of. Uh, no, no, price, this is or... eight, 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 850. 850. Yeah. 8,000 yeah. euros. 800 euros. So 800 euros, David. Yeah. The yeah. bigger okay, pieces sorry. are more expensive. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't add extra zeros yet. So calm okay. down. Okay. Well, 800 yeah. euros. I mean, wow. I mean, That's a good piece. Yeah. yeah, it is an excellent piece for that. Okay, now um, to, we'll move on to the very last one today. Oh, um, that's that's color, yeah, it's got so much this movement in that. Are my actions for or against? Uh, we all, yeah. Whenever we take an action, it's always for something or against something. Both can be true, both, both can be right, but uh, it's important to realize which we, which 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 is the the motive of it. What the what the motivation of that particular action? And you can see that spirit she has the the strength of making the action and um, moving towards the future. And some sort of the the heritage actually holds her back and push her towards the great accomplishments and achievements. Are these large, is she, is, is no, she taking this is 20, large this steps? Is, this is 20 by 30 too. This is a small piece. You would think this no, piece should say, be huge. Yeah, indeed. But are, are, is she taking, is she supposed to be taking large steps or is this part of a dance through life? I mean, I, I, This is the essence through life. This is the, uh, the, the spirit of, um, the spirit of the act of actions is the brave, uh, is the courage, is the braveness to take the action, and feeling that heritage holding your back, holding your back, is very important. 
all all the nations in the world have the heritage. It's important to know the heritage. It's important to respect the heritage, and it's important to use it for. I mean, to make uh, use of it as um, for, for 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 the good, not for the bad. Because yeah. um, it, it oftentimes it happens that people are so attached to their past that it becomes a stopper for them, not a pusher. Um, yeah, so I mean, is she attached to her past then? Is she, try, is she trying to release herself from the past? Or is she being propelled forward in, into the future by the, by the knowledge of her past? Yes, she's, she's with the knowledge and with the uh, realization of the heritage and the strength and power of the heritage, she's moving forward. She's moving forward to the future, to the new accomplishment. It's being... Um, yeah. It's realizing the value, but not being attached to it. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, David and I don't know enough about art. We know we know what we like, but you know. Yeah, well, this, I mean, that's why we do. Yeah, probably reason why we is, do these. Your Sorry. stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I, I like it, and in, in a non-professional term, I think it pops. When I look at it, I have a connection with it. I feel it. I like yeah. the vibrant of it. I like the colors. I like. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sure the art people that are watching here be like, "Oh, ask this. Yeah, can I comment below?" But no, your stuff is absolutely beautiful. So we're very yeah, well, thankful I mean, we, that you took the time to. We have to, artists on, so as, and as Stephen said, you know, when when Paul Constable comes on with all these uh, Canadian uh, artist friends. You know, they talk about paper and paintbrushes and the way things dry and et cetera, et cetera. And, yeah, I can't speak for Stephen, but I have a very primitive view of, of art. I either like it or I don't. Right. Um, yeah. You know, and so, so yeah, it's, it's – but that's one of the issues that we try and say to people as well. It's all right. You don't have to like it. Just because everybody else likes you, you don't have to like it. Right. But – Sometimes uh, you me, get that you see things. Sorry. Uh, for me, art is a dialogue. It's, uh, it's yes, it, exactly. So there, exactly. There is no good or bad. That right. you either have the uh, resonation or you don't. So right. yeah. That's no, always stuff, about resonance. Yeah, but your stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Like like I said, Thanks. it it pops. It's it's a nice warm feeling. So I always we always say on the when we talk to artists, art has soul. So it's the soul of your art, which just you look at it and you go, ah, like I have pieces here that make me smile. I have pieces here that make me have deep thought. So when I see something that just makes me smile or like that's nice. It's just a calming is very cool. So your stuff is absolutely gorgeous. So as we said to everybody, all your contact information will be below. Um, they can reach out yeah. to you. And if you're if you can't figure that out, reach out to us here at to F Entertainment, and we'll get it over to you. So, but your stuff is absolutely that's beautiful, right here. Thank you. That's the crazy Thank thing. You. I mean, I know for some reason I had like thousands of dollars in my head, which they weren't. It was in, it was all you know, it was like six hundred, eight hundred dollars. Um, but if you think about it, you have something, you know, uh, this a piece of somebody's heart, a piece of somebody's soul, which mm -hmm. nobody else has, and you can put that on your wall. And you can have that shared experience with them as the artist, and yeah, then it's beautiful. It's, it's irrelevant, really, what you pay for that. I think. There you go. That's very nice. And before we go, what's Paul's magazine called? One more time, so everybody can go try to find that as well. The magazine is called A Look at Art, uh, and uh, an original uh, content with. Uh, Best art expert on top of it, Patrick Kanum. So more okay. than recommended because every piece of content included in the magazine is well polished, very accurately picked up, and uh, brings high value to the readers. Very cool. I want to thank Paul yeah. for introducing us to you, my dear. Is where exactly. absolutely yes, gorgeous. please, please yes, thank Paul on our behalf and say, please. Paul, yep. come on the show. Whenever you can. So we can talk and you, my dear, you, you come back whenever you have a new anything you want to show. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. If you have another collection that you're going to put I will, together, I'll please. Do. Thank you very much.
please come back on the sure. show. And uh, well, well, it's time for the, for us to run the credits. So don't, uh, please yeah. stay with us until until the credits are run. We would just like to do a little bit of housekeeping with our with our guests before we go. Thank you so much for joining us today, Stephen. Thank you for your Always time this morning. Um, yeah, art and early in the morning for you. So it's um, and thank everybody for watching and um, come back and listen to another two old farts making noises classic interview. I will. I will have.